Hey y'all. Today I'm going to be doing a double two beers out of a mug. And it's pretty simple uh, tutorial. It's, it's kind of hard to mess it up, but there is a certain flow you need to get into if you're doing these things. And there's some little tips and tricks that you can use, uh, especially if you're at a party, you're trying to show off or something, that can uh, make it a little bit more advantageous to do it a certain way. Um, like I said, I'm not a magician. I can't open the throat and just like pour it down like most people. But uh, we'll see what we can do. This is going to be two beers. And I might, depending, I might not fill up the whole mug just because it makes it easier to, uh, you, know, you know what, I'll go ahead and fill up the whole mug. Let's be spontaneous. Anyway, while I'm doing this, I can show you kind of how I open my beers. I actually prefer this over just using the regular bottle opener because, well, can't even say this for this. Uh, can't even say uh, this anymore, but most people back in the day would carry a lighter. Not a lot of people would carry a bottle opener unless they're one of those people that has the bottle opener on their flip-flop, which is kind of gross. I mean, what if they've stepped in crap that day or poop, you know? It's like, ugh, ugh, you know? So, what I would do is I'd take a bottle. Oh, speaking of which, I'm all over the place, aren't I? Victory Sour Monkey. This is one of my favorite beers. I love sours, though. Um, while I'm doing this, I'll show you. You want to kind of firmly grasp around like that. And before you lock this finger in, you want to place, you want this to be placed underneath the cap right there. And as you place it underneath the cap, you want to tightly squeeze the bottom and then just pop it and it's open. It's like magic. Um, so this is, I think this should be the first video I actually really give it a go at editing. So I'm going to upload this to my computer. It's uh, kind of run through some tutorials on YouTube and see how they edit the videos and, you know, make it a little bit more professional. Uh, also, I'm going to be starting keto soon, so there won't be a lot of beer videos. Maybe I'll chug one beer or something like that, or I'll find a low-carb beer or something. Uh, but there's all sorts of other things we can do. You know, there's knife reviews, there's anything y'all recommend, you know. Second beer. Um, see, this is 9.5% alcohol. I feel like... Microbrews kind of started exploding around 2010. Now, when I was getting out of high school, I was really interested in trying different beers that, that didn't taste like Miller Lite or Bud Light. No, nothing against those. I'm not high-roading anybody. I love Bud Light and Miller Lite. But I wanted something that did not taste like that. So I'd venture out, but there wasn't a lot of options. I mean, there was... I think I started with Guinness, and then I went to Newcastle, which they just recently changed their original recipe on because it got sold. It's made in America now. Um, then I went to Heineken, uh, and then I found there was one place you could buy different beers back home at that time. And I went in there, and it was like a gold mine. Now, looking back, compared to the stuff they have nowadays, it was, you know, wasn't really a lot. But back then, that was all we had. So I'd go there. It's the first place I had Dragon's Milk. The first place I had uh, Dead Guy Ale. And uh, that's sort of where my adventures started. But I noticed after that, IPAs became huge. And I think, I don't know a lot about beer, but I think IPAs are easier to make. So I think that's why we see so many of them. A lot of people try to say, oh, it's the taste. I love the hops. But most IPAs, between me and you, taste kind of bad. I don't, I don't like IPAs. 
I don't like a lot of them. So every now and then I'll find one. I'm like, this is palatable. But I'm never like, oh, yes, IPA. Thank you so much. I much prefer sours. Uh, they're good. I love sour stuff. So anyway, like I was saying, this the second bottle. There's a little bit left. I'm trying to prevent spillage because I want to get this all on camera. There we go. So the main focus of this is you're going to you want to kind of pour medium hard. You do want it to, to foam up a little bit. Then you can take and this is kind of gross. I don't do it for somebody else, but you can sort of go like that. Get a little bit of a natural oil, swirl it around in the foam. It goes down really quick. But if you do this all while you're chatting somebody up, like, <laughs> hey man, how you doing today? <laughs> and as you're pouring it, you're doing it kind of heavy. You're distracting them. It's kind of like magic, you know. You're distracting them with the conversation. You know, oh, it's a nice watch, man. It's a nice watch. I like that watch. It's a good watch. Tell time? Yeah, good. You're distracting them with these things. So they don't notice how hard you're pouring it. And of course, you know, to a layman, they're not going to, he's pouring that beer awful hard, you know. So that's one of the tips. That's going to get the carbonation down. So that way it's a little bit easier to chug. Another thing is you could pull out a couple of beers prior, like if you foresee yourself doing a little party trick or chugging, you pull out a couple of beers prior to chugging and let them sit for a little bit because you don't want to chug ice cold beer, even if you're super confident that you can do it. And I'm sure you can, you know, I can, but on the off chance that you get an air bubble caught or something like it just makes things more difficult. So you're trying to make it as easy as possible to chug this beer. Now, when I start drinking this, you'll notice I, I, I know I'm going to do it fast, but I'm taking my time and making each chug count. When you first start chugging, you don't want to just, <laughs> and then get frustrated. Just take your time, gulp, 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 take your time. It's okay. No one's racing you right now. That matters, you know, it's like practice doesn't make perfect, but perfect practice makes perfect. Um, if you're practicing and your practices are all shit, all crappy, then what is that? You know, so this might not be my fastest time because I'm just demonstrating. So this is two beers, victory, sour monkey, sour, I don't know how, to, I don't know how to say this. It looks like triple, but I'm sure it's like tripel, 9.5% alcohol, sour tripel. All right, here we go. I gotta make sure I'm in the camera right now. <sighs> Another tip. Grow a beard. What you didn't see is that I'm dripping all right here. You can't tell. Beard. Beard comes in handy. You know what I mean? If you're uh, a few, if your testosterone is a little too low, or if you're female, um, just wear a little beard wig. You know what I mean? I don't know what they call it. It's fake beard. No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know the difference. You know what I mean? good to go. I don't want to wake up everybody in the house. Anyway, this is going to be the first video I'm going to attempt to edit. So it's not going to come out the day that uh, I did it. So this might come out a few days later than when I created this video. Uh, and I have to get back to work soon. So if you guys don't want me to go back to work, then, you know, like, Show some people this video or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be doing other things. I'm not just going to be chugging and doing, you know, other things I want to do. We'll get to that later, though. I do appreciate you guys stopping by, especially my loyal fans. I know who you are because I've seen you from the beginning. When this channel blows up, and let me tell you, it's going to blow up. 
I'll remember you. All right, guys, take it easy. But don't be sleazy. Now, if I could just figure out, I can never get this right. So they got a new flip phone. Got a new. I got a new flip phone. How does it? How does it turn off? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh.